If you're planning a cruise with Norwegian Cruise Line, this video is a must watch. Norwegian Cruise Line recently changed its very popular free at sea promotion to more at sea. But what does this mean for you? What does more at sea cost? What does more at sea include? What are some of the significant changes from free at sea? And is more at sea worth it for you? Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, Free at Sea has been such a popular promotion and I have my own little story because 10 years ago, I took my very first NCL cruise and a big part of the reason that I gave it a try was because of Free at Sea. But now things are actually changing and we do have more at sea that is coming into effect in January 2025. Now, if you are familiar with Norwegian Cruise Line's Free at Sea, I'm gonna go through some of the differences just because it's going to be a little bit easier to understand. But if you are new to Norwegian Cruise Line, this video is also going to be very helpful because I'm going to break down a lot of the details, including the specific costs that you should know about. And by the way, just like all Cruise Perks programs, there are some pros and cons, so I will get into that. Now, before I get started, I wanted to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. To start with the basics, what exactly is Norwegian Cruise Line's More at Sea? More at Sea is an add-on promotion that you can choose when you are booking your Norwegian cruise, much like the old Free at Sea. The key perks include unlimited open bar, specialty dining, Wi-Fi, and shore excursion credits. As with the prior Free at Sea, additional perks like third and fourth guest sale free or at a discounted rate on select sailings and free air for the second guest are also included as part of NCL's More at Sea. Now I am gonna get into the costs and some of the pros and cons in just a minute, but first let's look at how is More at Sea different from Free at Sea. Now the new and old packages are very similar, but there are some key differences. Unlimited open bar. One of the positives about More at Sea is the enhanced unlimited beverage package without a cap of $15 per drink. Now, just to mention, there's also no limit on the amount of drinks that you can have per day. Cruise passengers will have more choice than ever. Norwegian Cruise Line promises premium spirits, cocktails, wine, soda, and juice, with premium brands such as Grey Goose, Casamigos, Woodford Reserve, and more. And there are over 100 cocktails to choose from. Now what's not included in the unlimited beverage package are specialty coffees and still water or sparkling water like Pellegrino. Now I am gonna be talking about the cost of this in just a couple of minutes because the cost does vary depending on the length of your cruise. I am also going to be talking about free at C plus if you did have that before and what if any are your options now. Specialty dining. So with more at sea, you get a little bit of an enhanced specialty dining experience. It really is very similar to before. However, now when you do go to any of these specialty restaurants, you do get a little bit more options. You can order up to three appetizers per person, up to one main dish, and up to three desserts. Now, by the way, for those of you that have already sailed with Norwegian Cruise Line, please let me know your favorite specialty restaurant down in the comments below. How many specialty dining restaurants are included in More at Sea? Well, if you're in a balcony cabin and above, you are going to receive one meal if you're sailing on a three night cruise. If you're on a four to six night cruise, you get two meals. If you're on a seven night cruise, you get three meals. If you're on an eight to an 11 night cruise, you get four meals. And if you're on a cruise that is 12 nights and more, you get five meals. For guests that are in studio, inside and ocean view cabins, three to seven night cruises are going to receive one meal at a specialty restaurant. Eight to 11 nights receive two meals. And if you're on a 12 night cruise and longer, you receive three meals. And by the way, this is for the first two passengers in the cabin. Now, if you want to add on anybody else, for instance, if you do have children that are sailing with you, they can go to the restaurant for free 
and order from a children's menu. And if you do wanna add on any additional restaurants, you could do that at the price per restaurant. The price ranges from 40 to $60, depending on the venue. Shore Excursion Credit. The Shore Excursion Credit benefit is $50 for the first guest in the cabin. So for instance, if the Shore Excursion is $100 per person, you will get $50 off that. While it's always good to price things out, this perk is a good savings if you do plan to book your excursions with the cruise line. Wi-Fi package. Now, Norwegian Cruise Line's Wi-Fi package is not unlimited. Instead, everybody is allotted a certain number of minutes with the package. Now, with the new more at sea, everybody in the cabin receives the Wi-Fi package, which I think for a lot of people is going to be an improvement. Now, the amount of minutes varies by length of cruise. For three to night cruises, each guest receives 75 minutes. Now each passenger receives 150 minutes on sailings that are seven nights and longer. With more at sea, Norwegian Cruise Line has shared that there's an additional improvement to the Wi-Fi package. And that is the fact that now the Wi-Fi on NCL ships is powered by Starlink. So that should in theory make the internet faster and better. So how much does more at sea cost if you decide to book this promotion? Now, just like free at sea, did have an additional cost if you chose the dining package and the beverage package. The reason is because even though these were free perks, there were service fees or a gratuity charge on the value of these packages. Now, I do think one of the better things about More at Sea is it's not called free at sea, and therefore there's, I don't think that confusion anymore. So I think that that is something good. Now, by the way, you can opt out of anything that does have an additional charge. So the unlimited beverage package and the dining package. But if this is something that you like, how much will it cost you? Now, here's the cost breakdown of the ultimate beverage package. If you have a three to seven night cruise, the cost is $30 per person per day. And by the way, this is added on at the time of booking. If you have an eight to 11 night cruise, the cost is $27 per person per day. So it actually gets cheaper the longer the cruise you have. And if you have a cruise that is 12 nights or longer, the cost is $23 per person per day. Now to give you a specific and realistic idea, if you were planning a seven day cruise in 2025, the cost of the unlimited beverage package would be 210 US dollars per person for that seven night cruise for the unlimited drink package. So for a cabin for two, the cost of free at sea will be an additional $410, which by the way, is an increase over the free at sea program, which at the most recent cost was $305.20. Now, while the cost has increased, keep in mind that you don't have that cap of $15 per drink and you do have access to those premium brands. Now, something really interesting about the unlimited beverage package is the fact that the drink package gets less expensive the longer your cruise. So I actually calculated that an eight night cruise is only $6 more per person than a seven night cruise. So it is something to keep in mind if you see an eight or nine day cruise available. Specialty dining. Now the cost for the specialty dining more at sea promotion has increased as well. And by the way, just to explain, that cost is for the gratuity on the value of that package. Now one meal costs $20, and this is pretty easy and simple to calculate because you'll simply add $20 for every meal that you do have allotted in your package. So for instance, if you get two meals included, you will pay $40 additional. And if you get three meals, $80, etc. Now for anybody keeping tabs, this is an increase over free at sea where one meal had a gratuity charge of $11.80, two meals, $19.80, and three meals, $27.80. But something to remember, is we can order more appetizers, more desserts. I don't know who wants to order more desserts, but it's always possible. And the other thing is free Etsy doesn't exist now. So we will still talk about the pros and the cons of this package, but that is something to keep in mind while you watch this video. All right, let's quickly go through a couple frequently asked questions. When does more Etsy start? Well, more Etsy was announced on October 1st, 2024. 
And if you're booking on the website or through a travel agent, it basically applies right away. However, you'll only see this and experience it on the cruise ships as of January 1st, 2025. Now, if you were already booked with Free at Sea, everything basically is going to stay as is, as you had it, except for that unlimited beverage package. The unlimited beverage package after January 1st, you're going to actually have the benefit of that better package, that package with more beverage options. You're gonna have it for what you've already paid. What about free at C plus? And if you've already had that on your booking. Now, for those of you that maybe don't know, free at C plus, used to be a way that you could upgrade your package. And in essence, it maybe isn't needed as much anymore because you do now have those top shelf liqueurs, those premium drinks, those premium wines, which was something that was included in Free at Sea Plus. But the other thing that was included in Free at Sea Plus was Starbucks and specialty coffee and water bottles, Pellegrino, still water, etc. So because Free at Sea Plus is going to be sunsetting, in other words, it's going to be no more. If you have booked this and you are sailing after January 1st, Norwegian Cruise Line is going to be canceling your package and refunding your money. So I feel like that was a good segue into what are the pros and the cons of this package and is the package worth it? So let's start off with the pros because there really are a lot and then I'll share with you my thoughts on some of the cons. So in terms of the pros, I think that the package is relatively simple and easy to understand. So I think over time, more at sea is actually going to be a good improvement. I think we're all going to get used to it and it really is going to be fine within a few months. Now, while the cost has increased, I do think it really still is a really good value for anybody who drinks alcohol or enjoys the specialty dining restaurants. This is still one of the cheapest ways to be able to do this. And overall, this is a very big money saver over buying each drink or specialty restaurant on its own. Now, something that's a less talked about benefit of the More at Sea Unlimited Beverage Package is the fact that now when you're in a port of call that does have a tax, so for instance, when we've sailed out of New York, sometimes we've had a small tax on each drink on embarkation day. There are other ports that have this as well. In the past, this was passed on to the passenger. You'd have that added to your onboard account. Now these taxes, if you're in any of these ports of call, these taxes are now built into the program and you will not be charged them. So what are the cons? Well, in my view, one of the cons is the fact that some sort of upgraded package is not available to include Starbucks coffee, and that still and sparkling water. I think a lot of people really like that. Either I think it should have been included in the package or if it couldn't be included in the package and for Starbucks in particular, I really could understand why, then I do feel like there should be a way to upgrade that. So I hope that perhaps Norwegian Cruise Line would revisit that. Please let me know your own thoughts about that in the comments below. Now, another con is just the fact that it is more expensive in comparison to free at sea. And I think that we can all agree, nobody does want to pay more. So you can expect my calculations on a seven day cruise for two people is the cost compared to free at sea is approximately $200 more per couple if you were staying in a balcony cabin and you chose the specialty dining and the beverage package. The Wi-Fi package. Now there are some pros and some cons to the Wi-Fi package. So to start with the pro, if you're a family of four staying in one cabin, you do now get minutes for each person. So it does add up to more for the cabin. So that's actually better for families of four. But if you're a solo cruiser, you might end up with less. And if you're on longer cruises, it looks like you get a little bit less minutes as well. But the bigger con is perhaps the Wi-Fi minutes in general. This is just something that I wish Norwegian Cruise Line would revisit perhaps in the future and instead find some way to offer guests an unlimited Wi-Fi package, even if it is very basic. So is NCL's more at sea worth it? Well, I can tell you that for me, I am planning a cruise with Norwegian Cruise Line in the new year. And this is still something that I'm going to take. Oh, and by the way, I have a video with over 25 different Norwegian Cruise Line tips, tricks, 
and mistakes that you'll want to avoid. I'm gonna leave that video next in case you do wanna check that out. But this is still something that really has a very big value for me. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Yes, no, as well as any questions that you may have and I'll do my best to answer them. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.